I'm going to do a quick demonstration here on radioactivity. The question that I hear a lot is, are the radioactive tritium sites that I have on my handgun, are they dangerous? Can you get radiation sickness from being around them? Uh, are they even detectably radioactive? Well, I'm going to answer that question today. I have a Geiger counter here. It's a CDV700M. It's a pretty specialized unit and detects alpha, beta, and gamma radiation using this sensor. It's an end window Geiger tube. And right now it's just detecting background radiation. So let's give it a little test source to see if it works. On the side of the case here, there's a little chunk of depleted uranium, and you'll see the needle spike up when the probe gets close to it. So we know that the meter is working properly. Now we'll take the probe and put it over here next to these handgun sites. And these sites are tritium. It's an isotope of hydrogen that glows in the dark. I'll turn off the light here so you can see it glow. So you can see them glowing there. They don't need light to glow. They just glow on their own. And it's because they're radioactive. So let's see. We'll put the probe right next to the sites here. And just looks like normal background radiation. And we'll try the front side. And nothing. So we can safely say here that tritium night sites are perfectly safe to have on your handgun, perfectly safe to carry, perfectly safe to have in your house. Nothing to worry about at all. So here's some facts on tritium. You can pause the video and take a look at those. And since that was kind of boring, let's bring out something that is radioactive. So I have my tea set here. These are Fiesta Ware dishes that were made in the 1930s. And these contain um, uranium-238 in the glaze material, which is why they are bright orange. Uh, modern Fiesta Ware isn't radioactive, it's only the really old stuff from the 30s, and then they made it again in the 1950s. So let's see how radioactive this stuff is. As you can see, it's maxing out that scale. So we have to turn it to a higher scale and measure it that way. So now we're on the 100 times scale. So we're looking at 10,000 counts a minute, 20,000 counts a minute, and 30,000 counts a minute. Let's see how high we can get this. Turn the volume down a little bit, it's pretty late. We got to about 7,000 counts per minute, which is pretty active. I have some other Fiesta Ware that's more active, but that's pretty good. And just to have an idea, here's the check source again on the side of the meter. So that's on the 10 times scale. That's it. Radioactive handgun sites are not dangerous.